Hi, this is Darren Lyle. Now that we've modeled our little character here, we need to maybe begin uh, texturing him. But before we can do that, we really need to go through and UV map everything. So let's start working on that. If this is your first time UV mapping, please check out my four video series on Blender UV mapping. Uh, it kind of goes over the fundamentals, what is UV mapping, a lot of the tools, and um, can help get you quickly up to speed on UV mapping in Blender. But if you feel you're good, then let's go ahead and keep barreling forward. One of the things I did when I modeled the character is I tried to make sure that all of the pieces, or as many pieces as I, as I could, only had one side to it, that it didn't have double sides. Um, for example, like the vest here, I'll select it and hit the backspace key on the numpad to isolate it. And it's got little edges to hint at thickness, but it does not have interior polygons. And that's going to make it a lot easier to UV map. So if now that I have this selected, or actually I can come back out of there by hitting the backspace key, I'm going to go to my UV editing screen layout here. So now if I go to edit mode uh, with the vest here, and then just press U and then unwrap, this is what I get. And that's not bad. In fact, that's pretty good. Um, and that's the glory, I guess, of making sure that your objects are only one-sided. Well, that was pretty easy. Let's work on the helmet now. I'm going to press the backspace key on the numpad again to isolate the helmet. Now what I want to do, I want to just do one of these pieces at a time. There are three pieces that make up the helmet, uh, the ear pads and then the helmet itself. Um, I'm going to press the L key. I'm going to hover over this ear pad and press the L key to um, select it and then press the period key on the numpad to zoom in. And once again, I'm just going to unwrap this by pressing U and then clicking unwrap. And there you go. That's not bad either. Let's do it again over here on the other side. So I'm going to hit the L key and then U and unwrap, and there it is. Now the helmet is a little bit trickier in that there are a couple of places where I think I should probably um, mark seams here. And because I couldn't get away with having these pieces, these little tail pieces, be um, one-sided, they did need thickness because we're going to see both sides of them. Um, I think what I need to do is go ahead and mark seams. I'm going to press Alt to select an edge there and then Alt Shift to select that edge and that and then press Control E and mark seam. Now let's do the same thing for this other one over here. I'm going to press Alt Select, Alt Shift Select and then that one as well, control E and mark seam. Now that I've got those seams marked, I'll select the helmet with L, press U and unwrap, and there we have our helmet. So for the shirt here, if I just uh, selected everything in edit mode and hit U and unwrap, this is what we'd get. And there's a lot of stuff that isn't quite right here. In fact, I think what I'm going to do for this is go ahead and create a, um, a test checker pattern. I didn't do it for the other objects uh, simply because they were going to be easy and I wasn't going to mess with them very much. But for this, I think it's a little more complicated. So I'm going to need uh, a test pattern. So to do that, I'm going to come down here and click on New in the UV Image Editor here. And I'll call this, um, I don't know, Checker Pattern. And for the generated type, I'll select UV Grid and click OK. 
and there is my UV grid. Now if I come over here to the viewport shading menu and click on textured, I still can't see it here. And the problem is, is I need to hook it up to the material that this is assigned to. So what I'm going to do is go over to the node editor, which is here. So now that I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and create a new material for this object. I'm going to click down here on new and give this material a name, call it checker so I know what it's going to be. And this is just going to be a test material for our objects. Now that I've got this taken care of, I need to add that checker texture pattern to this checker material. So I'm going to come down here to add and go to texture and image texture. And right here I'm going to browse and I'm going to choose checker pattern and I'm going to bring it into the color channel of the diffuse on the material. And that allows me to see the checker pattern on, on the object. And this is why I did this. I thought that it would be kind of ugly, and it certainly is. So let's go back to the UV image editor here. So what let's think about is how would the seams of this shirt actually be in real life? Um, there would probably be a seam here. Now we could also put seams here where there would normally be seams on a shirt. Let's go ahead and mark these seams. And then let's take a look at the collar. I'm going to press control up arrow to um, make this full screen. And for this collar, this is a little um, tricky here. I'm going to select, I'm going to press Alt and select this edge around here and maybe this one and this one. Select everything in edit mode, press U and unwrap. I'm going to scroll down here and turn on stretch so that it, at least we can see kind of the fill um, and see the UVs a little better. All right, I think that's good. Let's go with that. Okay, so now ultimately we'll need this checker, pa the checker patterns here to be more of the same size, but for now we're just getting the UV maps done and we will compile and arrange the maps um, in a more organized fashion here um, once we're done. So in the next video, we'll keep going and we'll uh, try and UV map a bit more of the character. See you then. Thanks for watching.